Good morning. It's me again. Well, I just got this wood. I'm not sure how you're supposed to put this. Like, I'll tell you what I've got. I have a trailer. Both ends can lay down. I laid the back end down. He put in two sheets of eight foot plywood. And I think that the trailer is not eight feet. I'm not sure how long it is. Maybe it is eight feet. No, probably seven feet. Maybe it's eight feet. I have no idea. Some things fit in it perfectly. But I think the plywood sticks out. Maybe not. Anyway, better not figure that out. So then I also got two by six by 12. So these three pieces of 12 foot long wood. So he lays them down flat on top of the plywood. And I asked if he put a tag on the end, so he did. A red flag. And then I asked if I needed to tie this down. I said, are they gonna stay there? He says, well, you need to tie them down. You take no responsibility for helping anybody. So I, um, so I asked if he has any rope. I suppose I'm supposed to have all this stuff. But they're now three flat. So he takes the rope, he ties a loop, a, a, you know, like a noose at the end, and wraps it around the three. Now tying a noose is a good thing because then you can put your other your end of your rope through it and pull it really tight. Tying the knots doesn't, those slip. All that doesn't work. And a noose does. However, he's got them three laying flat on top of the plywood in the center. So he ties a noose around them. Then he ties it over to the end of the, the far end of the, back of the trailer. He ties another noose and winches it tight. Now the trouble is that I'll have to see by the time I get home what changes. But I think that the noose, the top noose, is around the plywood, I mean, around the three boards, which are flat. And then it's coming down, but I think that we're not, and it goes down as far as the plywood. But I think that when I go over a bump and things bounce, which they always do, the three boards are going to bounce up, and at that moment, the plywood, the noose is going to slide. The noose is going to slide. Over the plywood and become slack. That's just my thought. Now, if you were going to carry three pieces of board, three pieces of wood on top of the plywood and tie them down, how would you tie them? It's kind of hard to figure it out. So you can't tie them down. There's nothing below them to hook onto. You tie them together. They could all fall out together. You tie them together and then you tie them to the wagon. Maybe this, maybe this is the best way. I don't know. I guess when I get home, I'll see. Then I'll really know for sure. And you can know too. Ooh. The best thing is if you have the end of it up. Maybe I should have left the end of it up, and he could have put the plywood in, leaning against the, the end, and the boards through the end, and that would have been best, and they wouldn't have gone through anywhere at all. But in my wisdom, I laid it down. I don't know. I don't know what's the right thing to do.
probably worth it to drive in and pick it up. My other windows got lost. Did I tell you about that? Maybe not. I ordered them from Home Depot. Because you ordered over a certain amount, they um, ship it from the manufacturer. However, manufacturer didn't ship it to us. I think there was a phone call here the other day asking about a delivery. I don't know. But I didn't have the phone. I've got an answer machine now, but I don't know. It's not really all that helpful either. So then I called the number back, talked to them, and they said it had been sent to Fred Guy Delivery. I called Fred Guy Delivery. They had no record of it transferred me to somebody else and I had to leave a message. So I left this long message with my PO number, whatever that was, product order number. Ah, I remember. My phone number, my name. And I said I wanted the delivery. It's three windows. We need those windows. Anyway. I haven't heard back. But then I'm not at home because I'm out here running the roads. We live up in the boonies, and so there's no cell service here, so it doesn't give a lot of, have a lot of, it's not very helpful to get by <gasps> cell phone number. <sighs> oh well. So what is Willem now doing? Oh, there he is. He's been walking home. And however did you end up over here? I walked. You walked. No, you don't have to go there and turn around well, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Good thing I'm more observant than you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I knew, I knew that. You knew that? You were banking on that. And if, if, you, if you weren't, then you would have gone to Donnie's and I would have turned around the corner and made to the U by the, by the church. Get two chances. I have two chances to kick it again. You figured this out. You've been planning this for a while. I just changed in one, just coming out there. That was a long walk. You went all that way. And there's a deer in the woods. Isn't he pretty? Oh, yeah. The sun on him? Yeah. Oh well, so now we have it. So I can I can get a window here in in locally up there. And, have no, but I mean a patio door. Like I have, to, I have no patio door for him, and it's not ordered. So right. I should probably go to Home Depot and pick one up. So after you remove all the stuff from the van, the car, okay. I'll go get a window. Okay. 